what is happening people of the internet this is light nature coming at you with another video so today i got some great news for final fantasy 15 so there is a leak slash rumor of a pop of a royal edition this could be the somewhat game of the year edition for final fantasy 15 but let's just dive straight into it shall we so it says over here despite being an obvious prospect We've yet to see any kind of the game of the year style edition for Final Fantasy XV. However, it now looks like Square Enix may have such a version on the way in the near future if newly published rating board listing is any indication. The ESRB has published a rating for something called Final Fantasy XV Royal Edition, which is coming to the Xbox One and PS4. The rating itself does not provide any information about it instead largely restating the original games esrb rated but you know more details about the firearms um however it's not hard to guess what this might be it then continues on with saying with all the announcement dlc's episodes now available it seems likely the royal edition will bundle the base game with the content released Final Fantasy XV director Hajime Tabata said recently that he hopes to release more DLC packs for the game in 2018, but with expansions focused party members Gladio, Ignis and Prompto have already been released, Square Enix looks to ready to repackage the game. Given the Royal Edition has already received an ESRB rating, such a release is likely not too far off. As of yet, Square Enix has not made an official announcement about the Royal Edition we followed up with the publisher and will report back with any details it shares. We do know that the company's plan for Final Fantasy 15 this year includes a much anticipated PC port. The company also teased that 2018 will be a big year for the Final Fantasy franchise. Now what do I think about this? If it's a digital royal edition, I think it'll come with another theme. Maybe you get some additional add-on like character. Um, costumes you can wear, maybe Noctis can wear, I don't know, like um, Nyx Ulrich's um, Kingsglaive Altair, or maybe even um, stuff like that. But we, but if since this thing is releasing after DLCs, I could guarantee possibly don't quote me on this and then hate me, but this is very, very likely for the game to release its DLCs within this one entire pack for Gladiolus, Ignis, uh, and Prompto, but not concerning um, the future DLCs because that, that's not even confirmed yet because they wanted to add on. Like, they thought episode Ignis would be the last DLC. So, I think that after the second season pass, they'll make another edition, the complete, 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 complete edition but like seriously if you are thinking that you are going to get all of the future episodes because you purchased you purchased the first seasonal pass yeah that that's that's not gonna work because they stated that they thought episode ignis would be the last dlc so the if they make a second season pass you're gonna have to buy that as well or you can wait for the royal complete edition i think that's what they'll call it the complete royal edition after all of that seasonal pass and just buy that game so you get everything mixed up what i would like from them honestly is if they intertwine the episodes with the story but if they don't do that i'm all right with it but if they do i'll be all right with it like anything right as long as you get that game so if you didn't buy final fantasy 15 as of yet this is the perfect thing to buy if you want to play final fantasy 15 now however guys that is it for this video please leave a like helps me out a lot share with friends because sharing is caring comment your thoughts will you buy the royal edition and of course subscribe to become a fellow lightning ball now however guys that is it for this video and as always this is the lightning nature blaze out